Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. As you can see, I'm in a slightly different setup today, having a little mess behind my back because I'm currently packing and as promised, I will show you a little bit what I pack and how I pack for my weekend trip to Paris. First things first, I already told you in my last video that I ordered some new suitcases because I didn't own very nice suitcases and also not the perfect sizes so far so I thought it was time to finally get a very nice set that I can use for all my upcoming travels. So I ordered a set of two suitcases from Suit Suit. I don't know if you know the brand but it's my personal favorite when it comes to luggage because they have a very nice design and I think the price is quite good. Okay so these two are the suitcases that I got in a set. It is the Fab 70 set in the color Cuban Sand which is the absolute perfect shade in my opinion. It's so beautiful and I also think that it won't be that sensitive uh, regarding dirt because you won't see all the stains that much on such a dark shade of brown. I have here one smaller one for the cabin and then I have this big one here for check-in luggage obviously. This one here is 76 centimeters and this one is 55 regarding the height and yeah what else to show you i mean they have four wheels so it's very easy to carry them around and they also come with a lock to close them let's see how they will keep up but i'm pretty sure that i will love them for a long time and then i also got something that i have never seen or never considered to buy before i just randomly saw that on the suit website and i thought it is somehow nice so this is a protecting cover to uh, protect your suitcases from getting scratches, from getting dirty and yeah, as I just got those two brand new I thought it's nice to get this too to ensure that they stay pretty for a long time. So this is how such a protecting cover looks like. It is a transparent plastic material in the front and in the back and on the side you have a more stretchy material so that you can fit it on your suitcase and then on top you have here the hole to, to get the, the spin here out, I don't know how to call it in English. And down here you have a little zipper to, to fix the cover to your suitcase. Okay, let me show you how this looks like worn on the suitcase. You just pull it over from the top to the bottom, like this. And you have here this little hole to take out the thing that I don't know how to call it in English <laughs> and yeah, let's put it down again and then on this side you have here the zipper to close it and then let's lay it flat and then you close it on the bottom here like a bodysuit and we're ready to go it does not look the prettiest to be honest but it is here to protect the suitcase and yeah, I think it is a nice idea. Besides the suitcases, I also got some more little gadgets for my trip. So the first thing I got is a professional microphone for my camera. I don't know if you noticed the difference between this video and my previous ones, but this time is the first one that I'm using a microphone on my camera and I hope that the quality of the audio gets better. If you're interested in that, I will link the microphone in the description box of this video. I got one from Rode, which perfectly fits on my Sony a7 III. All together, the camera setup looks a little bit bulky now, so I'm pretty sure that I won't use it when filming in stores, if I can even get some footage there. So in the stores, I will probably use my iPhone. Then I also got the Apple MagSafe battery pack for the iPhone. This is an external charger that you put on the back of your iPhone. It's um, attached with a magnet. And let me tell you guys, this is the biggest fail ever in my entire purchase history because 
I found out that this does not go with my iPhone because I have an iPhone 10. I know it's really time for an upgrade. I'll probably get the new one when it comes out in autumn. Yeah, unfortunately I had to find out that this is not compatible with my iPhone because it doesn't stick. So when I put it on my iPhone, it just falls off. Very sad. It works for all the iPhones from 12 onwards, so iPhone 12 and newer. I can't return it because I already unpacked it and if you unpack Apple products, you can't return them. So I will have to keep it, but I am looking forward to using that in the future because I think it is a very nice and practical thing, especially if you're traveling and filming a lot on your iPhone the entire day. An external battery is your lifesaver probably for all content creators out there. I have to wait until I got a new phone and then I will hopefully make use of that. Then I also ordered the Apple AirTag and I think this is compatible for all iPhones. At least this is stated on the website. I did not try it out yet, so fingers crossed it will work. If you ever lose something and you have an AirTag in there, you can track the, the lost thing. And I thought it's nice for traveling if you put it into your check-in luggage and if you ever lose your suitcase, which happened to me before, you might have a chance to track it and at least locate it and see where it is stuck. And last but not least, the most important gadget, blister plasters, I think that's how you call them in English. This is definitely a lifesaver when going on a city trip because I have lots of comfortable shoes, but honestly, if you walk around like 10 kilometers a day, any kind of shoe can become uncomfortable, especially if it's so hot like in Paris right now. I've checked the weather forecast and it should have about 30 to 38 degrees. Let's see how that will go. <laughs> but anyways, my feet hopefully will be safe and I'm well equipped to survive any pair of shoes that I will decide to wear. Talking shoes, I also got a new pair of shoes lately, which I wanted to quickly show you. And it is the Nike Lodunks in the classic black and white version. I thought they will be perfect for Paris for walking around all day and especially for a concert that we're going to visit in Paris, but you will see that in my next video then. How perfect can a sneaker be? It is minimal, it is classic. I think I don't have to say much about them. I love them, already tried them on. They seem to be very comfortable, I think, or at least from trying them on the first time, they feel more comfortable than the Nike Air Force because they're not that stiff, they're a little smoother and a little bit softer, a little bit more lightweight so I can't wait to wear them in Paris. Another pair of shoes that shouldn't be missing on my trip to Paris is of course my new pair of Chanel sneakers. I love them, they are simply perfect, they are super comfortable and they fit every outfit so they definitely have to come with me. And the first and last pair of sneakers that I will take with me are the New Balance 327s in this white and beige combination. I Love those shoes, I've worn them a lot already. They are so, so comfortable. So I'm not worrying about wearing them all day. And these will also be my shoes uh, that I will wear for traveling. And the last pair of shoes that I will take with me are my Gucci Princeton slides. I think I've walked through half of Rome in them. So they are proven to be worn all day. They are so summery, they are my favorite summer shoe and I can't leave them at home. All right, let's continue with handbags. So the first one that I will take with me is of course my black classic flap. This is a must in Paris and yeah, I think I don't have to say much about this. It's a no-brainer and I will definitely put this into my cabin luggage to ensure it doesn't get lost or damaged. I mean, this is the birthplace of the bag, so I definitely can't leave it at home. Then I will also take my Dior saddle with me. Maybe I will travel with this one, but not sure yet. I have to say that it might not be the most comfortable bag to travel with actually, when I'm thinking about it now, because it's a little bit hard to open and it's doesn't have much space. So you see, I already put in the stuff that I need for the airport but it is quite stuffed and it is quite stiff to open and close so let's see either i will take this one or another chanel bag that i will show you in a minute what i will take with me in my hand luggage is of course my passport a little pocket mirror a hand sanitizer of course chewing gum a little brush a little lip balm. I love this one from MS. It's so good and it's so pretty. And yeah, that's it basically. A bottle of water, of course, and I actually don't need much. I don't carry around 
Uh, of course, I also need a wallet. Still need to decide which one to take with me, either the Chanel 19 one or the Black Chanel Classic one. I will take both bags with me, the Classic Flap and the Chanel 19, but let's see which one I will take. Maybe I'll just take both of them. They are so small. And that also leads me to my next bag already. So of course, I will also take with me my beige Chanel 19 bag. This is a beautiful bag I'm talking about and this is probably also the better choice for traveling because it obviously fits a lot more and this one I will definitely not put into my check-in luggage. So either I will take this one or the Dior saddle and the other one that I don't carry I will then put in a big tote to protect it and this will be the tote that I will just use as a hand luggage then. For the check-in luggage I will probably share the big suitcase with my boyfriend because we really don't need that much for three nights. The most difficult thing when packing, at least for me, is deciding what I'm going to wear, especially if it's such a short trip because I have so many outfit options in my wardrobe. I tried out for the very first time to put together a PowerPoint presentation planning my looks. I know it sounds a little bit ridiculous, but I've seen some other YouTubers doing that. And I have to say, it really helps to focus on what you really need. So I took out all the outfits that I had planned in my PowerPoint, tried them on, looked for the right accessories and then I put them down and took some flat lay photos. So when in Paris I will easily remember what outfit combinations I had planned and I don't need to stress myself in the morning thinking about what I'm going to wear that day. All right, let's start with the actual packing process. <laughs> to take my big knees BB Beauty case because it doesn't only fit all my makeup stuff but also my skincare and I will use my cosmetic pouch for my jewelry. my cosmetic pouch for storing all my jewelry. Alright, oh 
packed. I think I'm going to stop this video here because I don't want to bore you with too many details, but basically I just wanted to show you my new suitcases because I'm very happy with them and give you a little insight into what I packed for Paris. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss my upcoming Paris video and ensure to check out my Instagram for daily stories from our trip and I hope to see you soon. Bye!